Right now, we're still working to learn their names. We do know the man who died was in his 30s. The other man was in his 60s. Jacksonville police say the two were shot at around 3 this morning when someone entered their Cooper Lane apartment near the intersection of Jamie's Road and Wilson Boulevard. Channel 4's Elizabeth Campbell has been following this story all day and joins us live from outside the apartment where it happened. Elizabeth. <laughs> Well, Mary, the scene is now clear, but police were here for about 10 hours today working to learn anything they possibly could about who is responsible for this deadly shooting. Now, I'll step out of the way so you can see the apartment complex behind me. It is getting darker, but where you see the light outside of that apartment, that is where this happened. Now, JSO says this could have been a home invasion robbery. New video this afternoon, a man using a walker arriving to the apartment. He told me he was one of the two men shot, then was helped into his apartment by several people. Neighbors being extra cautious after learning about this morning shooting. The odds are better for you if you lock your door when you go in. That's the way I feel about it. Dewey cop says he'd rather be safe than sorry. He's lived in the area for about a year. Says he's heard of minor crimes happening, but nothing like this morning's double shooting that, according to police, killed a man in his 30s and injured a man in his 60s. Well, of course, it should concern everybody to an extent. And uh, you never know. You just never know what might happen in your life. That's, you know, all I can say. Police say around 3 a.m., one or two people entered this apartment on Cooper Lane off Jamie's Road, and an altercation occurred that led to the shooting. Detectives say it could have been a home invasion robbery. Earlier today, a worker was fixing the broken door. Two women who wanted to remain anonymous tell News for Jacks they moved out of the apartment across the street, saying they worried something like this would eventually happen. When the Everywhere. time changed and it started getting dark earlier, if we had to like go to the gas station, store, anything like that, we did it before it got dark. Because we, like, we didn't want to yeah. come outside and smoke a cigarette at night. There are several crime stopper signs throughout this area, including right in front of the apartment. Again, police asking for your help. They say one or two people entered that apartment around three this morning. If you have any information, you can remain anonymous and call Crime Stoppers at 1-866-845-TIPS. Reporting live from the West Side, Elizabeth Campbell, Channel 4, the local station.